Hi everyone, I'm Jess, PM of our new IDE. Building apps in Retool should be easy, which is why we're delivering more power and speed in an interface that's designed for developers. Retool is a platform that enables you to write code across the product, and we pulled inspiration from our favorite developer tools like VS Code and IntelliJ to build a better code writing experience. Along the way, we talked to dozens of customers to better understand what they were looking for in a new IDE. Builders wanted to have multiple features open at the same time and use tabs and split views to make the most of their screen space. Developers were eager for code editors that came with better autocomplete, improved code evaluation, and multi-cursor editing. Customers still needed to perform their common flows of designing UI, writing code, and debugging errors, but wanted to do so in a quicker and more pragmatic way. However, Retool is not just a code editor. We also support building with components on a canvas, and we provide building blocks out of the box. This led us to design our IDE such that switching between UI and code is simple and straightforward, a critical part of being able to build rapidly and pragmatically. We went through many iterations to find the optimal structure that was both customizable and familiar, and eventually landed on a split view structure where content is split by code and design. Information flows from left to right with a sidebar containing all of Retool's core actions. To give you a tour of what's new, we'll build an app together using the new IDE. Let's start by jumping into a brand new app. Starting with the sidebar on the left, we've consolidated all of the important app building features in one place. I can add components, view the component tree, open queries and write code, view releases and history, edit app settings, and investigate state and debug tools. If I need more code writing space, I can rearrange my workspace so that code is vertically split, horizontally split, and I can even go into full screen mode where I can switch between the canvas and my queries. Now that we've covered the basics, let's take the new IDE for a spin by building a customer management tool, a common use case on Retool. I've built an initial version of our CRM with four main components a header to navigate between different apps, a table to display customer data using some of our newer column types like status indicators, progress bars, and multi-line text, a chart to display seat usage for each customer, and a form to edit individual rows. Let's say I wanna add more to this app starting with a search input. I'll drag out a text input and go ahead and call this the search filter. We'll then do some light styling where we'll change the placeholder, remove the label, and add a prefix icon. I'll then click on the table and connect the search input to the table in the inspector. Now I have a working search filter within seconds. I can edit individual rows using the form, but what if I want to delete customers? I'll go into my code tab and create a new query. And we'll go ahead and pin the tab so that I can rename this to delete row. From there, I'll select the right resource, which is Retool Database. I'll go into GUI mode. I'll select the right table and pick the delete a record action type. I'll filter by ID and use our new autocomplete to write the query. And I'll also add two success event handlers, one that refreshes the table when the query is finished running, and another to select the previous row once I've deleted the row that I currently have selected and I'll go ahead and save the query. If I need to quickly reference other code, I can open up a temporary tab to switch between other queries. But for now, I'll go ahead and minimize our code ed editor to get more Canvas space. Click on the table and create a delete action button. I can then connect my delete row query to the action button using an event handler. If I go ahead and try to delete this first row, it seems like I've come across an error in my app. 
So I can go into state to investigate dependencies. Maybe I'll take a quick look at the table, um, go into my delete row query. I can see the error in the console. Um, seems like something's wrong with my delete row query. So I'll pop open the code editor again, double check the outputs, and I think I have an extra semicolon here. So go ahead and remove that and save this. And now if I go to delete this last row in the table, there we go. I'm working on a smaller screen, so I could use some more screen space to write code. I can unpin the sidebar and the inspector so that they're automatically closed when I click away. And if I need even more code writing space, I can go into full screen mode. My app is now ready to go, so I'll go into preview mode to double check what my end users will see before I copy the link and share the app with our success team. And that's it. I just built a retool app using the new IDE in an interface that matched exactly how I wanted to build. The new IDE is now available to all cloud customers, and on-premise customers can opt in on version 3.8 in two weeks. We're super excited to see how you built.